Wednesday was the women's strike for equality. And sure, it was successful or whatever. But it would have been more powerful had they dropped the word woman and called it the girls' strike for equality. That's because there's this really cool thing happening where people have been using the word girl to refer to grown ass women. And everybody's getting in on it. They're doing it on TV. Two broke girls, Gilmore Girls, HBO's Girls, and New Girl, which is about a quirky girl in her 30s. <laughs> Because a show called New Woman would be about a divorcee going to the dermatologist's office for a sobering talk about eczema. Oh. <laughs> Look at what a powerful movement Bethany Frankel created with the word girl. Skinny girl margarita is the perfect cocktail for an innocent, carefree flirt. <laughs> Skinny woman margarita is for an alcoholic in a stained nightshirt binging blue bloods at 3 p.m. on a Wednesday. <laughs> Sounds kind of like you. Well, my life's fine. Um, and in the book world, girls really rule. For four out of the past six years, the New York Times best-selling book had the word girl in the title. Most of the time, the girls in the books are actually adult females, and many of these books become movies. Remember Girl on a Train, the story of a 32-year-old drunk divorcee who stalks her ex-husband? Or Gone Girl, about an adult sociopath who frames her husband for murder? And then there's the thriller The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, featuring a 24-year-old tattooed hacker who tortures someone for revenge. Imagine if all these girl movies had actual girls in them. Spoiler alert. I'm the you married. I may have something. No one wants to watch that because it's creepy. Yeah. I mean, I get why people like the idea of girlhood, because girls twirl in a lavender field and have their whole lives ahead of them. And that's more fun to think about than a damaged adult hobbling joylessly towards death. <laughs> but we don't need a million reminders that our youth is the only currency we have. So unless you and I are close enough that you've seen me naked at the Korean spa, you don't get to call me girl. I'm a woman who never misses a car payment, meets civil rights lawyers on Bumble, makes her own chicken stock, and drinks rosé over $20. Yeah. Because that's what a woman has.